I'm joined by Irish first timer here at Burley, Susie Berry. Susie, tell me what it means to be riding at Burley this year. I mean, other than being a bit scared, <laughs> um, it's really exciting to be here. Um, I only live like 30 minutes from here and I've come every year since being based in England. Um, and I've sort of put it off a few times just to make sure I'm really ready. And I, I think the um, Ringwood LB, you know, I've, he had a really good run at Bramham and things and hopefully a good setup for here this week. You did have a great run at Bramham with it. Tell me about that and how how you how, how you do prepare for a five star. He would be quite different, to be honest, to most um, horses that are here. He he's very laid back. Yeah. Um, you know, you have to sort of keep motivating him. Um, he doesn't really have that crazy spark that they normally have. He kind of goes around the cross country with kind of feels like no adrenaline. He just does it purely because I've asked him. Yeah. So he kind of goes from big show to big show. He doesn't do many little runs in between, um, just so it's sort of an exciting place to go and a bit of atmosphere really brings him to light. And he's never been anywhere as atmospheric as this, so I really hope it, it helps him rather than hinders him this week. Did you find that at Bramham and things? Obviously, we've had a few COVID years where there have been fewer crowds or Burley hasn't run at all. Yeah. Um, did you find getting those crowds back, getting that atmosphere back is something that is, you know, benefits him. Yeah, it definitely benefits him and I think it benefits us as riders as well. Yeah. I think like a bit of a buzz makes you more nervous but in a good way um, you rise to it a little bit more but he definitely rises to an occasion. The more people there are, the better, um, which is really lucky, you know, for being here. He doesn't really, uh, well, famous last words, he doesn't normally um, blow up or anything so Hopefully it'll just give him that little bit extra oomph and a little bit extra energy to give it a go this week. And tell me about you as well. What made you get into eventing? What is it about the sport that you love? Um, well, my mum breeds National Hunt um, horses and sells them as foals. And so we've always had horses growing up. Um, I actually show jumped until I was 14. And then I bought a Connemara pony and that got me into it and I got the bug. Um, all along I really told myself that I wanted to have it as a hobby and just enjoy it and not have the pressure of making it your business um, but then I went to Piggies and I was meant to be there for a gap year and um, a gap year turned into forever <laughs> so eight years later here we are but um, I think as you get the bug and I don't know what it is about it it's just a different kind of lifestyle it's kind of live in this bubble but it's it's a really nice bubble, um, you know, the people are all really friendly and it's um, exciting. Like going, getting on the cross country course, there's no feeling like it. Um, you can't really sort of get that thrill any other way. So that's sort of stuck with us. And the love of horses and things as well, as you said, you had them, they were always around growing up. Can you tell us a bit about what that partnership likes, what that love of horses is like? Yeah, like I, I really feel that is quite important. I've, I've had this horse actually for quite a long time now. Everyone, I've got him, unfortunately, after John T had a really bad accident four or five years ago. And it really helps that they know you and you know you, you kind of think as one rather than sort of making a decision and then they have to catch up with your thought process. Yeah. And at home we had a lot of mares and, you know, mum we were constantly you know before school I would then skip a bit of school do a bit of riding mum caught me not ideal <laughs> back home do a bit more I don't know I just I love it um I, nothing else makes me you know gives me that excitement as trying to make a partnership with one and and getting them, them to this level and you as well have just been named um, on one of your other rides as part of the World Championship squad uh, heading to Pretoni in Italy. What was that moment like getting that first senior championship call up? I mean, crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Crazy. I feel like all this year has been a little bit crazy. Um, I think until I stop it won't really um, sort of sink in. I went, I started the year, you know, not I've not done a five star before and I hopefully will have had three, uh, three horses at five star. Um, in one year, which is mad, but the horse I'm taking to Weg, he's, I had since he was a six year old, and he is just the most gorgeous horse. And actually last year, he picked up a little injury and we didn't think he'd come back from it. And 
he's come back better than ever and it, it makes it even more special like I really I love them all don't get me wrong yeah. but he wouldn't naturally find it that easy and he tries so hard and it really it makes me a bit emotional talking about him because he just is such a little trier little trooper so hopefully he'll keep trying <laughs> for another few weeks oh it's wonderful again coming back to that partnership that we were just talking about then and and the bonds that you have with them and things it's um yeah, yeah really, really cool, really special. And um, the three horses that I've done a five star this year are all owned by Nick and Helen Caton, which is even more crazy that they've gone from not having a five star horse before to having three in one year. So it's all go. Well, wonderful. Well, Susie, we can't wait to see how you get on here at Burley and sending you all the very best of luck for Italy as well.